Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India In lecture 13 and 14, we have discussed uh, standard reduction potential series and accordingly we have noticed that uh, uh, hydrogen standard reduction potential is considered as 0 and the potential standard reduction potentials of metals uh, which are greater than 0 are considered to be noble and if the metals which are having standard reduction potential below uh, 0 value, they are considered as active components. Now then we started looking at uh, uh, different reactions that are possible uh, involving oxygen, hydrogen ion, OH ion and H2O. And then we started looking at uh, how to calculate uh, standard reduction potential for those four major cathodic reactions. And in lecture 15, we will continue our discussion on that on those four reactions. And then we started looking at uh, cathodic reactions which are possible in water medium considering oxygen, water as well as hydrogen ion. And then we saw that there are four reactions and those four reactions one set is oxygen plus 4 H plus plus 4 E equal to 2 H 2 O another one is O 2 plus 2 H 2 O plus 4 E 4 O H minus and interestingly the Nernst equation in terms of pH it boils down to E 0 O 2 H 2 O, we can write state with this value, it is coming close to 1.227, I can write it, this one I can write 1.23 minus 0 0.0591 pH. Similarly, this last equation for this one also, it boils down to 1.23 minus 0 0.0591 pH. So, I can I am writing 1.23 because the value what we obtained was 1.228. So, I can write as 1.23. So, you see the equation if we try to have a plot between potential and pH they will fall on the same line. But the occurrence of first reaction will happen when we have pH less than 7 and occurrence of second reaction would happen when pH greater than equal to 7. So, that means this is this happen in neutral or basic medium and this happens in acidic medium because this involves hydrogen ion and this involves water and then finally, we get to OH minus. So, it would increase the basicity of the solution. Similarly, we had discussed on two more reactions which is 2 H plus plus 2 E equal to H 2 as well as H 2 O plus 2 E equal to H 2 plus 2 O H minus. This is as we have mentioned that the Nernst equation 2 H plus H 2 equal to minus 0 0.0591 pH in terms of pH. So, this also we saw that It goes to, 
So, I can write instead of this I can write E ox by red for this reaction equal to minus 0 0.0591 pH. Same equation and if we plot them on E versus pH plot, they will lie on the same line, but this will be valid for pH less than 7 and this would be valid for an pH greater than equal to 7. So, here also it will be valid in neutral or basic medium or this will be valid in acidic medium. Now, as we try to draw for pH and E and remember these potential we are measuring with reference to one standard hydrogen reduction, standard hydrogen uh, electrode SHE, we call it SHE which is called standard hydrogen electrode. So, there the potential value is 0 at 25 degree Celsius and 1 atmosphere pressure of hydrogen gas. So, we will talk about the standard electrode little later and we will discuss two important rather three important standard electrodes. One is standard hydrogen electrode, AG, AGCL electrode and standard calomel electrode. There we will see that how those constructions happen and what are the benefits for different levels of standard electrodes. Now, if we try to plot them, so if this is let us say 1.23 when pH equal to 0. So, now if we see these two reaction, they are actually if this is the plot, this is the plot, then if this is the pH equal to 7. So, first reaction will be up to this, this is the first reactions if we consider this is to be 1, this is to be 2, this is to be 3 and this is to be 4. So, this is the first one because the pH is 7 and the second one if we consider this, the second one starts from this and then it continues. So, this is 7. So, this is first reaction, this is second reaction. Now, if I try to see the variation for this two reactions, so then again we can have another plot, let us say this is 0 volt, this is in volt, 1.23 volt is this point. So, now again this will be parallel line to this and again this point is pH equal to this line is pH equal to 7. So, the third equation will be valid here and fourth equation will be valid here. So, this is the plot and in fact in between we have H 2 O above that we have O 2 and below that we have H 2 generation. So, we will talk about this again when we talk about uh, stability lines of water, these are basically two stability lines and in between water is stable. Now, if I continue our discussion on this, this on the same line, now we see that even if it is not involving pure metal and also it involves water, uh, hydrogen ion as well as oxygen, then also we get to see uh, uh, a standard reduction potential. This is basically the standard reduction potential values 
for these two reduction reactions and sorry for this the standard reduction potential we found out I think if we remember this value was 0 0.401 volt and here the standard reduction potential was 1.23 volt. So, we do have standard reduction potential for reactions involving several other constituents other than metal ions. Now, here also we can constitute standard reduction potential series for other reduction reactions where hydrogen of course, will be sitting at 0 point and then above 0 it will be we can call it as strong reduction reactions and below hydrogen we have oxidation reactions because if in comparison to hydrogen I would say. Now, if I look at uh, the series some of the series for example, uh, one series is let us look at this, this is standard reduction potential series for potential series for metals as well as pure elements. So, now you see gold this is here which is 1.50 is a highly positive standard reduction potential and if I compare hydrogen, hydrogen is here. So, if we have a combination between gold and hydrogen I always get hydrogen evolution and if there are any gold ions present in the solution gold will, gold will immediately deposit back. Similarly, if I compare gold and silver, gold and silver so gold is standard reduction potential is 1.50 and it is 0 0.80. So, that means gold is highly noble as compared to silver. So, now if you have gold silver alloy then if we dip it in acid medium then gold will remain silver would dissolve and then we can have a porous gold structure and those porosity could be in the nanometric range. So, that is what we call it nanoporous material. So, this is uh, usual route of making nanoporous gold because once we have a combination of gold and silver the active component would become silver. So, silver would dissolve and since gold has got a very high standard reduction potential. So, it would try to get reduced or it would try to stay back. Now, if I roll down if I roll down and then go to full screen again. Now, here I have placed hydrogen here now this is hydrogen part. Now, if I try to look at zinc this is zinc. So, zinc reduction potential is negative whether hydrogen reduction potential is 0. So, that is what when you have uh, in a acid medium if you have zinc plate. So, that is what you have immediate hydrogen evolution because the hydrogen ion would get immediately reduced and zinc would dissolve quickly. Similarly, if we see this and this, so there also we could see that iron would dissolve and hydrogen would hydrogen ion would get reduced and then form hydrogen gas. They are also the iron would dissolve quickly because iron has got a lower reduction potential as compared to oxy hydrogen. Now, if you compare uh, iron and zinc, 
iron is minus 0.44 and zinc is minus 0.76. So, there also I could see that if we have a couple between iron and zinc, iron has got a higher reduction potential as compared to zinc. So, the possibility would be iron would deposit or stay back and zinc would dissolve. So, now you can see that if we choose any of those any of those particular series series any of those pure elements and then if we club it with another element where the reduction potential is below the earlier one then the earlier one will act noble and the the bottom one will act active in that particular couple so that information definitely we can get from this but in remember this is for pure metal uh, we don't have we are not talking about alloys this is completely 100% pure situation now if i go back to other cases like the way i have told you that uh, there could be situation where you can have reaction which are not considering pure elements rather there could be several species here also i can have a plot like this uh, if i go to full screen if we see this hydrogen again it is staying here hydrogen now the reaction we what we considered uh, in our uh, in our uh, case was uh, this one. If we see this one, so this is oxygen reduction in neutral or basic medium. The standard reduction potential of was 0 0.401. So, here it is written 0 0.40 and hydrogen is 0, 0. So, if we have a combination between these two then definitely this will be preferred as a reduction potential the other one would be oxidation reactions. Now, similarly if I try to see uh, 1.23 this reaction sorry this reaction which is the oxygen reduction in water medium in acidic condition it is highly positive as compared to the hydrogen. So, uh, this will be a preferred reduction reaction if we have acidic medium and dissolve oxygen. Now, if we compare iron and this, so this two if we compare let us say in an acidic solution we have dissolved oxygen and there we dip in uh, uh, sorry not this one uh, not this one if I see uh, uh, let us say I have I can put uh, in here itself let me note it down if we see iron plus 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 2 e equal to iron their reduction potential standard reduction potential is 0 0.44 volt. So, it is lying below this below hydrogen. So, there if I have iron in acidic medium then of course, this is one cathodic reaction and this is another cathodic reaction both the cathodic reactions can be a possibility. So, iron would dissolve and these are the cathodic reactions. So, like that way we can go down. So, like uh, for example, this reactions if I consider this reaction, these are not considering any metal ion, metal uh, deposition rather here we are considering the reduction of ferric ion and it is going to Fe 2 plus 
and we see that the reduction potential is 0 0.77 volt which is of course, standard reduction potential because here you see E 0 is mentioned. Now, this is a very very strong reduction reduction reaction. So, now uh, in as we have mentioned in case of zinc dissolution or zinc corrosion in acidic medium, we said that if we have a pure HCl, then reduction reaction is only single one which is hydrogen evolution. But once we have little bit of ferric ion in it which is considered as impurity, then this reduction reaction can also take place. So, which is a very very strong reduction reaction. So, then the dissolution rate of zinc would increase. Now, there was another example where we consider three reduction reactions. For example, in the acidic medium we dip zinc and then there we have ferric ion as well as we have dissolved oxygen. Then this reaction can also happen. So, you have three reduction reactions this one, this one, this one as well as this one. So, they would definitely increase the rate of dissolutions. So, from this and interestingly whenever we are talking about E 0 even if the reactions contain only ions like the example what we have given here. Remember the activities of those ions in that aqueous medium will be z will be 1. So, that is what that in that Nernst equation. So, if I write that Nernst equation E equal to E 0 plus ox by red ox by red plus R T N F L N A ox red. So, in this case this one and this one will always be 1 when we talk about standard reduction potential. So, they are also for example, if I consider this particular situation the activity of this and activity of this will be 1 then only we can achieve this potential. So, these are uh, table for example, if I uh, scroll down, if I scroll down and then again go to the full screen, you see now here we have hydrogen here, this is hydrogen. Now, uh, the other reactions if we consider this, so this was the reactions we considered uh, for basic or neutral medium. So, uh, this is pH greater than equal to 7, this happens pH less than 7. So, now this is a very strong reduction reaction oxidation reactions when we compare with this. Similarly, we have this which is minus 0.44 zinc if I go to zinc, zinc is minus 0.76, even aluminum it is minus 1.66 and magnesium if we see the magnesium is this. So, why I have I am putting a importance on aluminum and magnesium as well as zinc if I see the zinc. So, now uh, these uh, elements zinc, magnesium and aluminum these are very active elements and magnesium of course, is a is highly active element and you might have uh, 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 you, you, you might come across that magnesium is a very very popular uh, sacrificial anode even zinc can he is also used as a very popular sacrificial anode. Aluminum is a problem though it can be used if we maintain the active nature of it, but the aluminum has got a problem that has aluminum has got a in, has got an inherent tendency to get passivated. So, it passivates and when it passivates so it forms aluminum oxide on the surface. So, then it will no longer remain as active component 
So, aluminum has a problem. So, we will discuss that thing later also, but for the time being you see that if I compare the because most of the engineering applications to still use iron. So, in order to stop this reaction when we try to stop this reactions or minimize this reactions we have to have a counter anodic reaction. So, which will supply electrons for this reactions. So, iron dissolution will be minimized, but of course, zinc dissolution would increase as well as if we club iron and magnesium, magnesium dissolution would de increase. So, that is what magnesium and zinc they are used as a sacrificial anode for protecting iron object. So, from this now we get back to uh, this importance of this series. As we have mentioned that the series are constructed on the basis of thermodynamic values as well as uh, the inherent criteria is they have to be standard state those ions and species are to be in standard states and activities should always be 1. And in case of metals it is a pure metal condition and from this we can definitely make out that which one would act as noble one and which one would act as active. So, active metal noble metal can be judged from this by looking at this series or active uh, reaction or cathodic reaction can be judged from these series. This is the series where I can see which reaction is going to be cathodic reaction and which reaction is going to be anodic reactions that also we can make out. But interestingly this will not be able to tell few things. For example, metals in most of the practical applications we have alloys, but this table will not be suitable for alloys because there the activity of ions may not be 1 or activity of metal in the metallic part since it is an alloy the activity may not be 1 also. For example, let us say silver zinc silver is 50, iron is 50, zinc is 50. So, that case zinc activity may not be 1 is not 1 in that alloy. So, that case this particular series will not come into purpose. Now, secondly we assume that in that solution we have those species in order to have cathodic or anodic reactions, but most of the situations you would see that uh, if there is anodic reactions then definitely those ions are forming, but there may not be the cathodic that ions which are there which ions of that particular metal available in the system which would try to get reduced rather the reduction reaction would be something different. So, those information also we cannot make out. So, that is what this series is a theoretical series more practical purpose series is galvanic series. We will continue our discussion on this two series uh, in our next lecture. Uh, so, let us stop here. Thank you.